Hello and welcome to today's Saratech Customer Development Series. My name is Sarah Utsugi and I'm the Marketing Coordinator at Saratech and I'll be your host today. Presenting today we have Rita Tafla, Saratech Mechanical Engineer, and she'll be talking to you about utilizing part family functionality in NX. All right, hi Rita, thanks so much for joining us today. How are you doing? Hi Sarah, thanks, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at Saratech? Yeah, so I've been a mechanical engineer with Saratech for a little over two years now, and I've spent the majority of my time here working on projects in NX that involve building out center part libraries. So I've worked directly with the NX part family function for a while now. So I'm excited to pass down hopefully some tips and tricks. Yeah, great. We're excited to hear it to share with us. Why don't you go ahead and share your agenda and take it away? All righty. So today we're going to go over what exactly a part family is, uh, the benefits of utilizing the part family function in NX. And then lastly, we'll go over sort of an example or tutorial of how to create a part family and the different functionalities uh, within this tool. So first off, uh, what is a part family? So part family, uh, part families are a set of iterations or variations of a specific part or assembly that only differ in the values of their dimensions. Sometimes their materials as well. The part family, some of the benefits of use, utilizing the part family function in NX is that the function NX in NX allows for the creation of instances of parts and assemblies using a part family template as your basis. So this allows you to avoid having to create several models of each instance of a particular part. The part family function in NX also allows for a single part file to be able to take on and represent multiple instances or variations of that particular part without the hassle of multiple part files. This feature is also available in any version of NX. So I was using this back in NX 10 and it has been available in all versions that have come out after that. Um, but there have been some slight improvements made to the function in recent versions that we will go over. So there are two main components that make up a fully defined part family. Uh, the first component is the part template. So this is the model used as the basis for creating the child parts or the different variations. Um, the second component is the Excel spreadsheet. So this defines essentially the parameters. It is the Excel sheet that drives the model because it consists of the list of every instance of a part or assembly, along with the different values that the named expressions can equal to. And we'll go over these expressions. So the part template is a fully defined model that can adjust to represent any instance in the part family. The dimensions in a part family's template are defined using what we call named expressions. So we can navigate to these set expressions under the tools function in NX. And this is where you can find the expressions um, dialog box that will pop up here as shown. Um, so in this example, this part is fully defined using three dimensions, which we have assigned expressions to define them. So we have named them the head, the length, and um, the shank. So you can use expressions rather than constants to define dimensions because it allows you to use these expressions in the part family Excel sheet to assign multiple values to each expression. Okay. So once you're at a point where you have a fully defined model template created with its dimensions driven by named expressions, we can create the part family. So we can access the part family function under tools as well in NX. And from the available columns here, you can choose which expressions you would like to include in the part family spreadsheet. So these should include all dimensions that are not constant. Basically any dimension that can take on different values based on the variation of the part. The chosen expressions here will be included in the chosen section down here. Um, and now to add every variation of your part or assembly, you can navigate um, to the edit spreadsheet um, button right down in the dialog box. 
So once you click that button, an Excel sheet will pop up in a separate window and the chosen columns that you selected in the part family dialog box will autofill in the first row as titles for each column. So you can see that there's the DB part number, the part name, and then our uh, named expressions that we select. So to kind of get a better understand, understanding of the setup and format of the part family spreadsheet, uh, each row is an iteration or specific variation of your model. These are what we call the child parts that make up your part family. And then each column we see here is a different dimension or attribute. And this is what makes the part family creation process possible because we can see here that the, each child part has the same attributes and dimensions, but what differs between them is the values of those dimensions. So from here, you can see each iteration of each part um, in assembly or in assign, you can assign the different values to them. So in this case, the child parts differ by their lengths. So you can see how they increase um, with the different part numbers and the part names here. So once you've added all your iterations to your model, you can go in and save your part family by clicking in the add-ins um, and then the part family drop-down. Oh, this should be shifted down a little bit, but there's your uh, save family button. So any updates made to the part family spreadsheet will be reflected in this preview window in the part family dialog box. So there's a few things you can do directly from this dialog box um, without having to launch the Excel spreadsheet. For example, you can verify parts. You can highlight an iteration and click verify parts here, and it automatically um, shows you a preview of it without actually applying those values permanently. And then conversely, you can apply the values of a specific iteration to the model by doing the same thing of highlighting the iteration you want and then clicking apply values. And this will actually apply the values permanently to the model. And then one more thing to point out, you can actually create or add new iterations um, directly into this dialog box without having to open up the Excel sheet. And this is actually somewhat of a newer feature in NX in the last couple of years or so. In older versions, you would actually have to launch the Excel sheet to do this. So you can add in your values and save the family. And then this gets added to your part family and we can apply the or verify the part. You can see how the model changes. Okay. So now we're going to talk about setting up attribute property properties for your part family. So if we go into file, um, we can access the properties from here in NX. And this dialog box for the displayed properties comes up um, where you can view all your attributes. And this is where we'll establish our attributes and properties. So what this is, is it's basically allowing you to set up whatever attributes that make up the properties of your part family. So for this example, I picked out a couple attributes that characterize the properties of this part family, and that is the head type and the length of the child part. Of course, there are numerous amounts of attributes that you may find helpful to include, such as like the material or finish are really common ones as well. Um, but from here, you can create a new category. So I just called it the attributes category and you can add the title of the attribute. So I added the titles of head type and length. Um, also the data type, some options are uh, Boolean um, as well as number. Uh, I usually most commonly use, I set it to a string data type value. And then you can either set it to a value or expression. In this case, we're going to set it to a value um, and we can type in that value into the dialog box on the right. And then once all of this is set up, you can apply the changes and it shows up as an attribute above. And we can add our new attributes to our part family from the part family function, which as a reminder is under the tools tab in NX. 
Um, in the available columns, we can select attributes and the available attributes to select from will be listed below here. So if you double click the attributes we created, it'll move down to the chosen columns and will be displayed in the part family Excel sheet. So you can see it here in the preview window on the right. So adding attributes is a good way to display essential information such as material, finish, um, and other essential properties that describe your child part without having to dig for this information. Um, and we can find this information by either opening up the part family under tools or by displaying the properties. Again, that was uh, located under file. As we apply different child parts to the template, the values of the attributes will update as well along with the dimensions. So some notable takeaways um, for the NX part family function is that it's efficient to use when you have multiple variations of a part or assembly. Uh, you no longer need to build out multiple models for each instance of a part or assembly, and you can consolidate all these instances into a single part file. So you can essentially eliminate the hassle of uh, having to handle multiple part files. All right, Sarah, are there any questions for me? Yeah, the first is, is there part family function specific to only NX? So it's actually not specific to NX. Um, it is available as a functionality I've seen in other um, 3D software, such as SolidWorks, uh, Solid Edge, and I know Creo and Katia have their own versions of this, this functionality as well. Nice. The next question is, where can I go to view the properties of the model and what instance is assigned to it? So you can you can see what values or the instance that is currently assigned to your model template by viewing the part properties in the part file. So that would be under the file drop down properties and then the attributes. Great. Well, it looks like that's all the questions we have to, for today. Um, if you have any other questions or think of anything later, you can always email us at marketing at saratech.com. Um, if you are ready to take it to the next level, Saratech offers much more than software. We have a wide variety of options for training, services, and 3D printers. So if you have any questions about that, again, you can email us at marketing at saratech.com. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you again, Rita, and have a great day. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.